from fans that are powered by the sun to portable air conditioners powered by power stations. They can be the most useful thing for you to have during a power outage and a heat wave. Heat waves are becoming more prevalent and that means heat exhaustion and heat stroke are more prevalent too. Bed bound people and pets are highly susceptible to this and I'm gonna show you what you should have at home to protect you. When the power goes out, many of us only think about our electronics, like our TVs and phones and things like that. But one of the main things we should be thinking about, especially as summer is approaching, is the heat waves and the brownouts and power outages that can happen and cause you to become really uncomfortable. So if you're like me and you have central air conditioning, that means that's not going to work. Or if you have ceiling fans, those aren't going to work. Or any plug-in fans will not work unless you have an alternate power source. And that's what I'm going to be using in today's video. I have a couple of alternate power sources here that I'm gonna show you how they can be the most useful thing for you to have during a power outage and a heat wave. Power stations and solar panels are always part of my emergency preparedness kit and I take them out every six months to make sure they're working properly. So this 2200 watt power station is wonderful. I can charge it up by plugging it in to the solar panels here have two of these solar panels so that I can make sure I get the maximum amount of charge for my battery. All right, we're getting about 77 watts here and you'll see here it shows solar DC charging and it would take about three hours and 54 minutes to fully charge this battery, which is at 77%. If you don't have solar panels, you can also take your battery to your car and charge it up from there. Now you don't want to discharge your car battery completely, so you're going to want to run your car so the alternator will recharge your car battery for you. The fastest way to charge this battery is to plug it into an input through the wall. So when charging this up here, you'll see it's charging right now just under 1100 watts, and that's because I have this little, um, it's an AC input button for going between either 600 and 1200 watts. If I turn that off, you're gonna see this jump down to about 600 watts of charging. So charge just a little bit slower, there we go. I also have my output here. So I have, you can see I have two prong and three prong output here for AC and another set down here. So I can plug a couple of major, not major appliances, but things like air conditioners and things that were gonna require a little bit more power here. This is letting me know um, how many inputs are coming in right now, nothing, and how many outputs right now, nothing, but I'll show you that in a moment. And this is lets you know to turn on the AC. So this will turn on the AC plugs so that I can start using these. Or I can tell it I want to use DC, and it'll turn on these. And then also it has USB-C and USB-A. This has the higher wattage at 100 watts, and this is 18 watts and this is 18 watts to power things like phones and tablets and laptops. This is great for that. This also has a light here with a couple of different settings. So I can turn it on and it'll just have a lower light. With each press, it'll make the light a little bit brighter. It also has two great handles to be able to carry this from both sides because I will tell you, this battery is heavy. In order to get this much power, this thing weighs like 35 pounds on its own. So um, it, it's something that if you can't lift 35 pounds, you're probably gonna wanna go to the smaller battery. Now this smaller battery is a thousand watts and you can see it's pretty much set up the same here. Um, it'll give you a power indication. Also it has a light here so that you can turn on a light um, to be able, to, it only has one setting on the light, but you can turn it on. Solar input and DC input here. This also is your DC output, your USB output for USB-A and USB-C. Also your AC output right here. Also has a place for you to lay your phone and charge and a nice convenient carrying handle to be able to carry this one. I use it for cell phones, tablets, laptops, even for powering like David's CPAP, through several nights so that he can get some rest. It'll even power a small refrigerator or something like this, which is an electric cooler. But I wanted something larger, something that had more power because if it's really out and I'm, it's out for a long time when it's really hot, 
I'm going to want to run an air conditioner and this unit will do that. I specifically chose the size of this air conditioner because as you can see standing next to this chair it's not very tall it's easy for me to maneuver and it also has a remote control this is perfect for the size of our house they have several sizes but this is perfect for us by having a small portable air conditioner i can use it in the living area during the day and move it into the bedroom to use at night this doesn't pull a lot of power, so as you can see here, this is going to run for about 13 hours to be able to keep us cool and have some power left over. And this means it will take us less time to recharge the power station the next day. Next, we're going to talk about keeping things like food or medication cold. And I want to go over a couple of things. Number one, this power station will power a small refrigerator, at least for a while, so you can at least keep it cold, keep the door shut, and then when it starts to get a little warm, plug it back into this and then get it started to keep it a little, let it run and get cold again. But it will run something like this for a while. So if you have things like, you know, some sort of food that you need to have or insulin that you need to keep cold, having a cooler like this, which is an electric cooler, is going to allow you to have that and run off either one of these stations. It will run off the smaller one. I've done that. This is what I do when I'm camping is I will run it off of this or run this off my car. And then once I get to my camping place, I will run this. This little cooler has an area here to keep all of your cords and you could do hot or cold. If you want to keep something hot or cold in this cooler, this works great. I love this for camping and for traveling in my car. We use this little refrigerator to keep drinks cold and it has a little ice maker here. I could use this in an emergency to keep things cold. Let's hook it up to the power station. All right, you can see the refrigerator is pulling somewhere between 74 and 80 watts, which means right now it would run for about 11 hours. Um, I wouldn't run it for that long unless I had to, but I would probably run it along to get it cold and unplug it and keep the door closed. But you do see that it will run um, a small refrigerator like this easily. And if you have a larger refrigerator, it may run. It just depends on how much power it's going to surge out to turn on. But this is great. I can keep a lot of things cold here now with this power station. Of course, beyond the power stations, you see a lot of other things on this table. I want to go over these with you because I think they're really helpful for you to have on hand just in case the power goes out and they will work with this and some will even work with the power of the sun. I'm going to show you some solar fans here that I think are great to have around because if you have a yard or a balcony or a patio, you can recharge these just by setting them out in the sun and they have battery packs within them that are going to allow them to be used at night once the sun goes down. This first one here is perfect for someone who lives in a very small space because you can see it's very compact. It folds completely up like this and it's solar powered as well as can be recharged off of something like a battery like this. So that way, if during the day you have a patio or a balcony or a yard and you can get outside and get this to charge, it'll charge an internal battery within this and allow you to get some power to keep this thing going for you at night. And then also, once the power's back on, you can just go back in and power it through here and keep it charged up for the next time the power goes out. I like how compact it is. It's just really small, so it fits easily into a closet or under the bed. This is a great one to have. You can also take this one camping with you, or car camping or tent camping. If you need to cool off a tent, this is a great one to have as well. This is one of my favorites. Again, I love how compact it is. And if you have pets or anything, you can even put this like outside of the cage to kind of blow some cool air in toward them and keep them cool on those brown out days. This next fan right here is also solar rechargeable or you can plug it in to recharge it. It has a nice tilt so I can set it on the floor or set it on a counter to be able to tilt this and get some good breeze. It's quite powerful so it's a great way to circulate air on those really hot days. And the solar panel has a long wire, so that way I can leave it outside, plug it into this, let it run, and heart charge the battery so that once the nighttime comes, I can still use this to keep me cool. The next fans I'm going to show you are not solar rechargeable, but 
they do have a battery and they are rechargeable through things like this. So this is great to have in you know, conjunction with these things to help keep you cool. And the first one you see is this one right here. This is wonderful. Number one, it comes with a remote. And number two, it has a battery in it so that once it's charged up, it will run for a while and it will tell you how much battery is left in it when you're running it. And it's also telescoping. So it can be on a table like this, but it can also stand on the floor and I can tilt the head in a variety of ways to get breeze where I want it. This is a great one, but also for you that are in apartments, this packs down into a very tiny little format. This packs down into this tiny little format. Really easy to just stick in a closet somewhere so that you can pull it out when you need it. Um, this is one of my favorites. You can also take it camping because again, you can recharge it off a battery. It's very lightweight, but it's also stable enough that it's not going to be knocked over easily. So another great one to have, especially if you're living in a smaller space. These next fans are all rechargeable. I like something like this, which is a little personal fan that allows me to cool down. Right like this. Yeah, and it also allows me to set it up. So if I wanted to set this up, let's say on a table or something, it would sit up fine. Um, this is great for if you're traveling to have something like this. It has three speeds, so really nice. This next fan is not something you necessarily hold in your hand. However, if you wanted something right by your bedside and you wanted something with a small footprint, this is another great if you have a small apartment or something. As you can see, you can tilt this in a lot of different directions. You can even hang this if you needed to, I guess, but it's mostly a stand like this and it allows you to have some cool air blowing on you. It's also rechargeable. So another one is like this. For those of you who have um, children, um, like strollers and stuff, that's really what this one was made for. It has these little bendy legs. You can wrap it around a stroller or even a crib if you have a really small baby that's not up grabbing things where you can put some air on your baby and things like that, or a pet's carrier if you wanted to put something in there. Uh, this is great. You can also handheld it. It's a little big for me to be able to be something that I would put in my carry-on bag or my day-to-day -day bag. But again, if you want to set it on a desk, these act as legs or a handle or a way just to kind of wrap it around something so that you can get it to be stable. Another great fan to have, also rechargeable, and it has three settings. This next fan is super small, and this is one that I carry when I'm traveling. I take this one every time I travel because it's actually a three-in-one. It's not only a fan, as you can see right here. Also, if I put my finger in front of it, it stops. So if someone puts their finger in front of it, it stops. But it has a couple of speeds. It also acts as a battery charger, and it also acts as a light so just by putting this down and putting the power on, <laughs> it also acts as a little flashlight and it also acts as a charger for your phone. So this is a three in one. This is one of my favorites to take with me when I'm traveling. And um, I pretty much keep this in my everyday carry bag all the time. This is coming really handy. So if you are going to a vacation place and you're gonna be standing in line, it's gonna be really hot. This is a great thing to have. Also allows me to set this one up right like this. It'll set up right by my bedside table or on the table wherever I am. Great thing to have. This is one of my travel favorites. The next thing we wanna talk about is being cool through hydration. If it's really hot out, you are going to want to be making sure that you get some liquid in you because it's going to help dissipate the heat by putting cold liquid in you and allowing you to rehydrate yourself since you're sweating everything out. And one of my favorite things to do is to use a cooler just like this. This cooler is an insulated, just basic cooler like you take for a picnic. But what I do is I keep a frozen Tupperware of water of ice in my freezer. All I have to do is drop it in here with some water. It's gonna keep that water nice and cool for longer. It's better to use larger blocks than cubes. It'll keep it cooler for longer. And that way I know that we can stay hydrated without having to either open up the refrigerator to get ice or cold water. Just leave this out with some ice in it and it'll allow you to stay cool during those hot summer brownouts. Almost all of us take water with us wherever we go. But I think in the summer, the most important thing is to carry a thermos and make sure it's full of ice because that way any water you put into it will stay cold 
and keep you cool from the inside. Just like in the winter, by drinking something warm, it'll warm you up from the inside. Drinking something cold will help cool you down and dissipate the heat. So I have a variety of different thermoses and things that I keep and take on my travel adventures. Um, I like this one because it's large and it has a nice pop-up straw to drink from, which is really nice. And it has a stainless steel straw. So that way, I'm sorry, that was a little loud. It has a stainless steel straw and stainless steel inside. So I do like this. Um, what I don't like about it is it doesn't really fit into my cup holder in my car. So that's a little tough. Um, I like this one because it does fit into the cup holder of my car and it has a straw so that if I'm traveling, I don't have to tip my head back to drink. I can drink from this and not have to take my eyes off the road and it closes down pretty good. But again, you know, you don't want to put this in your bag. You never know when this could pop open and things start to leak, but it's great for the car. My favorite one for travel and overall is this one right here because a it's insulated i can put a lot of ice in this it will keep it cold for 24 hours easily um, it also keeps things hot but for those hot summer months it keeps it cold what i love about this one is it's an auto seal meaning this spout right here does not let any water come through until i press this button so it's one-handed operation. I don't have to take my hands off the steering wheel or anything, or if I'm rushing around an airport, I can just press this button and drink, and then it allows me to just let go and it seals it up, which is really important because what you don't want is something leaking all over the inside of your bag. It also has a little lock feature here so that this button doesn't get pressed. It also has a little cap feature to keep this part clean, and it also has a handle so that I can use a carabiner and put it onto my luggage or carry it around. So I love this little uh, thermos here. It's one of my favorites. So having some cold water with you in the summer at all times is really important. The other things I keep on hand at home and on the go with me are hydration packs like this. These are things for children because I'm sometimes around my grandkids and I want to make sure that in case it's really hot and they're thirsty, they have something that'll be able to get some electrolytes into them. So I like these. And then for me, I have a variety of different ones. I try different ones all the time. I don't necessarily have a favorite, but I always carry at least one pack with me so I can mix it into my water and have something that's going to provide some electrolytes in case I start sweating it out really a lot. And it's going to keep me from feeling a little bit weird and woozy when I'm really, really hot. So ha Woo! <laughs> having some hydration packs like this are essential at home and on the road. By the way, if you want to see everything that I put in my everyday carry travel bag as a personal item when I'm traveling and to take with me while I'm out and about, especially during those really hot summer months, leave me a comment and say, yes, please show me what's in your summer everyday carry travel bag and I'll do a video on that. All right, this next one is a fun one. And if you have a backyard, a patio or a balcony, a blow up pool, doesn't have to be as big as this one, but something that either the kids, the pets, or even you can get into and cool off and get some of that heat dissipating from you. You know, and if you don't have that, just get into the bathtub and allow yourself to soak in some cool water to help keep yourself from having heat stroke or heat exhaustion. But this is great for the kids or even for pets. It's going to allow them to get in some water and stay cool. And it's just a fun one to have on hand. I hope you got some ideas from this video of some things that you should have on hand just to help keep you cool in case you have a heat wave with a power outage or a brownout and get those things now before everyone else is scrambling to get them. I'll leave a link in the video description to all of these things and I'll also pin it to the first comments so that way you'll be able to order things and have them delivered right to your door. All right, I've got to get busy putting this stuff away because I've already tested it. So remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Remember to keep cool during those hot summer power outages. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello? I oh, blind myself. And I'll leave links in the video description to all of these things. Did power just go out? No way. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this camera still working?